Okay, hello everyone, hello YouTube. Today we're going to show off the Stash Mover module. I'm going to do it from scratch. I'm going to build the whole like pro Boeing station, do the whole thing because yeah. Uh, it has lots of settings and some people have been telling me it's got complicated for them to set up. So this is gonna be like the tutorial on how to do it and how to use the module because it's not that hard to use, it's just yeah, hard to understand the first time. It's just setting it up and it runs automatically. So let's do this. You need to set two Perl loaders up. Ideally, you only need one to be honest, but the Perl can fail and you will not want to travel back where you are. So always set a backup Perl. It's important procedure, you know, you need to do it. Uh, what else? This works with any amount of dubs and barrels and trap chests. So you can use normal chest, trap chest or barrels. Uh, not need much more than this. Boom. You said the pearl bobbing stations. You said your pearl here as a main. And in here you shift to be like inside the block. Open the stash. Uh, well, no. With your other account, you will need an alt account. Yes, uh, that account will stay in the place you want to move your stuff to and load your pearls so you can like use your bet to go back to the input place and then come to the output by that account loading your pearl. Uh, you do that by using this other module called Pearl Loader. You will need to set the trapdoor position in here. Boom, trapdoor position. You got it already. Uh, that will just do it automatically for you. Uh, the other thing we need is just some blocks to build a quick uh, platform here. Boom. Uh, yeah, basically I've been developing web hacks because I wanted to do like a client and free way to just play to be as supposed, you know, you need a lot of modules and hacks to play to be at the same level of other people and to enjoy it the most you know that's the way uh, these days automation is everything and there's like a lot of gatekeeps uh, modules and technologies that people don't want to release there is a few other stash movers around that i think it's just time to release it for the public and let everyone have it you know so i start working on it with the help of ai and just my knowledge on coding and I think I did a pretty solid job. I'm going to share an open source. So if you want to modify it and do whatever you want with it, go ahead. It's in the web hacks repository in GitHub. Okay, let's leave this corner so we can do this. We pick a hopper with a dispenser. That's all we need. Boom. I need to do this fast because I already leak cores. So someone's coming. The feds are coming. So let's grab one wood real quick. So we have the pressure plate we need to activate that. Boom, we do it real fast. Okay, now with this, we leave it there. I have the pearls on me here. Boom, we place the chest so we can storage our items we are moving. You can do up to stacks of four chests, so it like manage the altitude pretty well. It was pain to get it to open chests of different altitudes and different orientations. Now that it worked, so let's do this. Boom! How many chests we have here? Eight, twelve. Okay, let's do twenty. Yes, yes. Two, two more, and there we go. We have our output area. I'm a Remove the blurry chat. Hold on. The commands you need to do right now, it's in this area, it's your output. So what you do, well, you do this, select one corner here, boom. To select the both corners, you need to do the set output command. So then you click on one corner with the normal click and then in the other corner and it selects the whole area. This is your output area, okay? Uh, also, you need to come here to the Pearl station that gives you the Ender Pearl and uh, in the Stash Mover thingy, where is it? Sorry, <laughs> let's disable it. We don't need it to have it enabled. 
This is the pickup position, the pickup pearl position. The under, well, the pressure plate you use to re-gear on pearls. Then in here, in the stash mover, you need to set the throw position too. And yeah, with that, you have your output ready. The only thing you need to check, to be honest, it's your jaw and pitch. If you are using a pro blowing station, you will always have 90 degrees because that's looking down, basically. So you can infer the other one that's not 90 degrees. It's the jaw. That's the position you're looking to. So just come here, shift as you're throwing it, and you see 90 minus 179.9, the two minus 180. And that's it. You got the whole output configured. Well, that's not it. <laughs> A uh, stash mover minus 180. It might be the same day. Let's just do it like that. Whatever. This is all set up. Now let me do this to not leak coordinates. Boom. Uh, let me check that I have the bed in the correct position. Sorry for the black screen. I'll do it real quick. Let's say my HS2 now that we are here. Also, I'll place some around. Sorry for not showing this, but this is just placing it just in the ground. Nothing you guys missing. And now let's do kill. Boom. Where I am. Oh, I auto -log. My bad. <laughs> One second. I'm relogging to do to see where I respawn. I don't want to have my bed in somewhere I don't want to show off by mistake. The whole source code of this is open, so you can read the whole thing and modify it and do whatever. So don't be afraid it's a virus or whatever, because that's the complete opposite of what I want to do. Bevhax is coded and done only to like, yeah, make it public and not make it so shady and weird to get like a hack client you have to pay to and never read the source. It's the complete opposite. You guys can read the whole source. And yeah, my input is here. We are good. Let's do the input. It's the same set input command. Select one corner of the chest area and then the other. Here I have just totems. So I'm going to use this. Boom. And then you can just toggle the module and it will start working. Well, once you set up the prayer loader account and everything, that's like obviously. Oh, hello. That's not normal. I like lagged out somehow. I'm gonna disable the renders. Maybe that's lagging the game. Too much stuff. Disable this. Yeah, the renders are actually lagging everything. There we go. This is not a ski mask. It's just a beanie but yeah <laughs> let me reload you can start in both the input area and the output area so it's the same thing i load back and start from the output area you guys can see it works properly. <laughs> there we go. We're here. Boom. I load me back manually. Let's set pearls in the backup zone just to not miss it and start the module. So it started working. Uh, stash mover. Boom. Goes to the pearl location, takes the pearl, throws it in the pearl chamber. boom now it saves everything it takes a second to do, do the rotations but they it's safer that way it was a pain to do it faster oh what hold on let me modify the delay on the moving uh, uh, transfer delay on zero okay that's why 
Let's do it on three. You see, that's why I added the configurable thing, because if you have high ping, you might have more issues with it. But yeah, uh, I'll leave a default configuration that's better now. I'll just check and leave that as default. But maybe if you have low ping with zero, it will just work. In my case, it's getting me kicked, so I <laughs> had to modify. Uh, this is activated, this is disactivated, just in case. We gotta move some dubs before someone arrives, right? Also, I gotta pick up the netherite on my other account. <laughs> I don't wanna lose that. Had to choke the netherite just laying around. Okay, let's restart this. Now it works because we have the delay on the moving items to the chest. There we go. It's the pearl. Sets it again. Hopefully, it doesn't hit the other pearl. Okay. Back to work. I'll set up the prayer loading with my other account so it's automated too. Uh, per loader position one, position two here. Now the other account is just automatically per loading. You can see it there, completely automated, hands off, stash moving. So that's great. I will go grab something to eat now. There we go. Now you can see it's all working properly. I'm going to use fill those 20 dubs with totems and if anyone wants to go grab it, go ahead. But yeah, I'll leave the YouTube video here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy web hacks. You can uh, commit to it if you guys want to help me do any module. If you have any module idea, go ahead, give me a suggestion or do it yourself. And yeah, see you in the next video. I might do a shout out or like showcase. That's the proper word for the whole thing. So have a great day. Have a great night. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and see ya soon. Sorry for not uploading that many videos. I've been doing other stuff as you can see. Have a great